I hope you're well. Today I'm going to show you how to install an OBD2 device in an Audi A5. Now I have this one of these devices here in front of me as you can see here. Now these devices are quite often provided by your insurance company. So this particular one is an FMB001 device or terminal and it's a telematics device and these devices are quite often provided by insurance companies to high-risk drivers so they can monitor how you drive and that can be by you know making a note of your speed or how you brake and also obviously your your mileage as well now this particular car is an Audi A5 and I'm just turning it on here and I'm going to show you very very quickly how to add a telematics device to an Audi A5. Now I'm just going to show you where the OBD2 socket is in an Audi A5. So if you look underneath the steering wheel, and uh, just bear with me a second, I will show you exactly where the socket is. Just panning the camera um, around under the steering wheel. So I am under the steering wheel here just to uh, make it absolutely clear to you. And as you can see here, on the Audi A5, you can see the OBD2 socket. And that is where we are going to plug in the telematics device. And it's just above the accelerator pedal. So just above the accelerator pedal, you can see the OBD2 socket. And the telematics device is going to be plugged into that. And I'll do that right now. So I've got the telematics device in my hand here. And I will try and do this while I've got the video playing. So I'm going to press it in, press it right in, and that is it. That is how easy it is to plug in a telematics device in to an Audi A5. Now if you look at the device you can see some green lights flashing and that just shows you that the device is plugged in correctly and is now active and your insurance company, assuming this is what the device is for, can now receive that data directly from your vehicle. So the OBD2 device is now in its port and I'm just going to turn the engine on. So I'll turn the engine on and obviously the car will start as normal so you should you should see no difference at all uh, in the vehicle and that's it i mean the device is active i'll just show you the device again so we can see what it's doing so the engine is on and you can see the lights flashing in the device again you can see the two green lights on the right hand side again indicating that the device is active so my name is dr jav i hope you've enjoyed this short video and if you've learned something from this video, please do subscribe, like and share and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.